Hello! In this video, I'll show you what an MCP is and how to set it up in N8N. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol, a standardized interface that lets AI agents interact seamlessly with various tools and services. It acts as a bridge, ensuring tools and applications communicate effectively, enhancing the functionality and usability of AI-driven solutions. MCP offers three key features, tool discovery, natural language interaction, and schema auto-generation. Tool discovery allows agents to identify and connect with available tools in the environment, which we'll see in an example. Natural language support means you can interact with an MCP server as naturally as with a large language model. Schema auto-generation creates data exchange structures between tools and AI agents automatically. Let's dive into setting up the workflow in N8N to demonstrate MCP. We'll start with the MCP client tool, but first, I'll configure a basic AI agent node. In the AI agent node, I set a simple system prompt. You are a helpful assistant. Today's date is current date, using N8N's timestamp function. The instructions are, use available tools to send and reply to emails. This prepares the agent to work with email tools we'll add later. I connect it to OpenAI's GPT-40 mini model using my OpenAI credentials, and enable the chat trigger for user interaction. Memory isn't needed for this demo. Next, I configure the MCP client tool. To make it work, I need an MCP server trigger, which must run in a separate workflow to stay active. If I activate it here, it'll conflict with the client setup. I open a new tab in N8N and create a workflow named MCP trigger. In this workflow, I add an MCP server trigger node and copy its production URL, not the regular link, to ensure it's live for testing. Back in the main workflow, I paste the production URL into the MCP client tool's settings to connect it to the MCP server trigger. Now I add Gmail tools for sending, searching, and replying to emails. First, the get message tool. I set the credential to my Gmail account, enable set tool description automatically, choose message as the resource, and select get many as the operation to fetch multiple messages. Second, the send message tool. Using the same Gmail credential, I set the description automatically, choose message as the resource, and send as the operation to send emails. Third, the reply message tool. Again, using the Gmail credential, I set the description automatically, choose message as the resource, and reply as the operation to reply to emails. For the reply, I set the email type to HTML and let the AI handle other details. With everything configured, I test the workflow by sending a message. Ask John if he'll attend the meeting later this week. I encounter an error. Checking the MCP client node, I reconnect the production URL to ensure it's correct. Retesting the workflow. It succeeds. The output confirms. I've sent a message to John asking if he'll attend the meeting later this week. In my Gmail, I see the email. Hello, I hope this message finds you well. Can you confirm if you'll attend the meeting scheduled for later this week? Next, I'll show how to connect MCP to Claude via Claude Desktop for natural language processing. You'll need to download Claude Desktop from Anthropic.com. Use the official link to avoid phishing. It's available for Windows and Mac OS. After installing, open Claude Desktop. Go to the top right menu, select Developer, and enable Developer Mode. Then go to File, Settings, Developer. In the Developer settings, I remove an existing tool to demonstrate adding a new one. Click Edit Configurations to open your local Claude configuration file in a text editor like VS Code. Paste the JSON configuration for the MCP tool. I'll include it in the description. Replace the placeholder URL in the JSON with the MCP server triggers production URL from N8N. Save the file. Your editor may autosave. Back in Claude Desktop, refresh the app. The N8N tool should appear. Click it to confirm it's running, showing the Gmail tools, get message, send message, reply message from the N8N workflow. To test from Claude, I ask, send an email to John asking him not to attend the meeting we have later this week. This uses the same Gmail tools via MCP. Claude requests permission to access the tool. I select Always Allow.
The message reads, Hi John, I wanted to let you know you won't need to attend our meeting scheduled for later this week. Checking my Gmail, I confirm the email arrived. That's how you set up MCP in N8N and connect it to Claude. The JSON configuration and workflow details are in the description. I'll see you in the next tutorial.